Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Hopefully, the weather is okay. I am making this video off the rooftop of a new apartment here in Torre Vieja. You will see a beautiful sunrise over there, guys. In today's video, I have five amazing Bitcoin charts, five really cool charts. Yes, of course, a trading tip, some travel advice, talking about the news, as there is huge news from China that you really need to understand and also giving an answer to one of the questions of the followers and of course ending the video with an inspirational quote this time it has to do with the sunrise so let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to bitcoin today bam the first chart for today guys of course this amazing four hour chart look a couple of videos ago i told you hey if we don't break that blue area we will fall back to first around uh, 68k and then if we break that we will fall to that red area that's exactly but not even exactly the area that we hit at the moment there's a huge area of support on this bottom here this red area you can see this you know the the, the ultimate support is from over here all the way in march at the beginning till now would be this area of 60k we fell down with a wick even to 60k we are bouncing up again which is beautifully we also can see of course here in the bottom um, this blue line was to a very deep point over here uh, at 24 level so returning now going up slowly yellow decreasing green line is on top over here as well and we can also see that probably the green will start so this is a beautiful moment to take a long position guys the long buy signal was there we are closing candles above that yellow stepping line the blue line is above the white line yeah we should get confirmation that it is green over here for the early early uh, risky investors yeah of course you could already invest now because it means that now at the moment um, you have the most upward potential all the way to the top of the Bollinger Band around 70k again could be a nice four hour trade uh, but of course let's see if this support will hold even longer I'm going to show you a little bit zoomed out version as well that is this chart because on this chart I drew that pennant and I told you guys if we break out to the top very bullish at the moment it looks like we're breaking down now the thing that I want to educate you about today is also that you sometimes should switch to um, a normal candlestick pattern to see also how it's playing out over there so let's do this now together we will go from hiking ashen now to the normal candles then we can see a complete different picture because that is a full tops and full bottoms not the average ones like hiking ashen now let's see if we would draw now for example we should draw it from there and then that move there will be the top here this middle area so we were breaking out and not and retesting the line again something like this and this line over there in the bottom should then start somewhere oh, oh my god did he? somewhere over here at that area touching that area somewhere there something like this so then we get like a, a, a other style pattern pennant but it still fits and then we can see hey okay maybe we are still holding that bottom line a pattern is not always perfect we can see clearly now top bottom top almost to the bottom top bottom again waking over here will we go back this will we do this we will we keep moving like this towards the halving and then bam break out let's see it's a daily chart for every candle a day but that is how you look at charts i always prefer hacking ashen but i sometimes also need to look at these uh, normal candlesticks to see if we are really breaking out of the pattern or not back to my traditional chart over here guys so that is on the daily chart also on the daily chart you can see of course here on the bottom yes the black blue line didn't cross that red line so that was a very bearish signal but the rsi is resetting to the bottom level which is good it's not bad and please realize we are still above 60k we are 65k per bitcoin the vips i told this weekend i was adding bitcoins to my portfolio if you want to become a vip go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find all the information the other thing that i want to point you out here um, on this chart is if i zoom out a little bit more let's zoom out really zoom out zoom 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 look this area where we are now to give you an example we are these this was the top over there you see this is the top 
we are breaking the top, going above, coming down below, breaking it up. So we know this is a very important level, level of resistance. Did we see this also during the previous bull market and what happened after? Now, let's go and check it out. Let's go and check it out. Over here, we can see, I'm going to zoom out. This is a 2017 top over here. A white line going sideways to this area over there. The moment that we start to break that previous 20k all the way over here, that is the moment. Look what happened over there. I think we can even draw the same kind of like pattern over here. Um, oop, something like this. And then also a line over there. Something like this. And yes, I am quickly drawing this. It's sloppy, it's very sloppy. Don't, don't start to comment about that, but just to show you what's happening. So what was happening, we were breaking it the first time. Over here, we came up, we tried to break the piece of the line. No, we came down. We tried to break the piece of the line. No, we came down. We tried to break the piece of the line. Bam, we broke it. And that moment that we broke that fully and we kept above it, that was a period of not too many days. That was like a couple of days over here, bam. Let's see, um, for example, over here, 50% up. And within 19 bars, within three weeks, we went 50% up. So that would take us above 100K at the moment. So this area that we see over here, previous autumn high, trying to break it, forming a bullish pennant while breaking it, that should be of course, giving you the same feeling that we have at the moment. Because look at the moment, we are doing exactly the same. Previous autumn high, that white line over there, trying to break it, going above, going down below, coming above, down below. And yes, there will be a moment that we will break out and move to the top towards 80K and higher. Simple charts. Now let's dive into some more interesting charts. This is the first one. This chart is showing you in the last six months, guys, every time, every time when the Bitcoin realized profit loss ratio came down below the one level, over here you can see it, that was the moment that the market turned around. That was the moment we went up in price again. So here again, that is the moment when we saw a local, like a bottom in the short term time. So a bottom in the short term and then the price reversed. Over here, now we are down below that one line. This is the moment you should be adding to your Bitcoin portfolio because it's the moment that the short term bottom is in and we will go up again. Please be aware of these kinds of charts. They are always they are always showing you exactly what you need to see. Technical analyze. Look at the history, what happened before when we hit these levels below one. Reversal of the market. The second chart that I want to show you, um, yes, don't look at it as a negative, look at this something that has happened before. You know, when Russia invaded Ukraine, at that moment we had a Bitcoin crash. At that moment, the investors thought, oh, the economy is going to crash. And yes, we went down. You can see it over here. We went down from 39k almost to 34k. And after that, we went up and we came back and we bounced. Also, the SP500 did exactly the same. You know, we dropped and we came back higher even. Now, again, there was an announcement that there could be a war between the United States and Israel and Iraq. Um, and yes, again, we saw a Bitcoin price dip from almost 70K to 60K. So that's more than 10%. So exactly the same is happening. Every time when the news is talking about, yeah, huge war is coming, yeah, the weak hands will sell their Bitcoins to the strong hands because they understand that Bitcoin saves people in the war. Now, exactly the same happened now again. Announcement of the war, we dip, and we will be back at that same level of 70k very soon. Also a very interesting chart and very important chart is this one. This is the mining density and, and uh, ASIC efficiency. This is telling you how much will the mining cost in a couple of uh, weeks if when we hit, hit the halving. Now, at the moment you can see already how much the halving is. The black line is the price, the floor price of the S5, S7, and uh, 20 years. You can see the floor price of all these different miners. Now, at the moment, uh, this one over here, the S21, that is the cheapest floor price of 27.9K. But the other ones, the pink one here, the S19 Pro XP, that one is 40K. Over here, that one is 54K. These prices 
will double from the halving. This will even become above 100k, this will become 80k, this one will become around 60k. So that is very important for you to understand. If you look at the Bitcoin price, it sometimes takes a distance from the miner, that's the bull market, that's why they make a shitload of profit. But then we come back to that cost of mining level. And that is what we see now. But this now, the price is going to go massively up, but also the cost of Bitcoin mining is going to be go massively up. So we can see this is only the beginning of the bull market. This play always plays out in the beginning of the bull market. I wish the chart would have been bigger, I could have shown you. So please be aware of that. When that mining will cost between 80 and 100K, the Bitcoin price should be higher because else the miners are making losses and they can't make losses. You can't mine Bitcoins for 100K when the Bitcoin price is 80K because then it's not like profitable anymore. Nobody is making profits. So the Bitcoin price will always be higher than the price that it will cost to mine them. Simple as that. Very important chart. Then we have the Bitcoin short term holder supply and loss. This is one of the indicators that you also can use to see uh, when the bull market is over. Look, when that uh, orange part is going to be massive, massive, massive. Um, that is, of course, the short term supply. That's all the people that buy for the short term, not the long term holders. Uh, when that goes up, that is when the retail steps in, and that is when these huge, massive bull markets are made. Here, here we see this again, massive bull market now. And then when that red starts to peak, that is when it's over. That's when the short-term holders are in loss. So when the supply that the people bought in the short term, like a few months ago, a few weeks ago, when they turn into loss, massively, huge peak, that is when the bull market is over. That's the moment that you say, okay, now I should be selling as well. Prefer be a little bit earlier, but this is the ultimate moment. Here again, when they peak, that's when the short-term holders are in loss, the supply is in loss, that's the moment that the bull market will be over. We are now here. We are now, if you compare it to the previous bull markets, in this phase over here, just getting started. Or in the phase over here, just getting started. We are just crawling up a little bit. That short term is still nothing. It's almost down below the dotted black line there. Uh, we are now here, just the beginning, the start of the bull market. Don't let them fool you. This is the start of the massive bull market. Don't let them shake out your weak hands. You should stay in. I hope you really enjoyed the charts and the charts. It is all about zooming out. Don't freak out about every minute change in the charts. There will be a lot of minute change in these next 12 to 18 months of that bull market. And that is the most important part that you need to understand from these charts. The halving is happening in a week. We haven't seen one moment in history that after the halving we went down massively, that the bull market is over. The moment the halving takes place on the 20th of April of this year, that is the moment the second part of the bull market will start. That is the moment we will go explosively up in price. And I know that you all are like, ah, doubting it, I can't believe it, higher than 70k, maybe that was it, maybe this was the bullish uh, part, maybe this was my complete euphoria phase in the bull market. It isn't. It is just the beginning. I have been to three of these markets now. I understand what is happening. This is the moment of doubt. This is the moment that we experience every time when we break the previous autumn high, we are fighting that line and going above it and coming down below it and going above it. Till that moment, we stay above it and we explosively move to 80K, 90K and maybe 100K in a very quick, rapid way. Even quicker than the sun is rising over there. I don't know if you can see it, but the sun is really in the clouds a little bit. It will come up. So don't doubt. Zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. Bitcoin is coming towards that halving. Bitcoin will explode you go up. And it doesn't mean that we can't have these dips of 10% or 15% or even 20%. But like I always say, dips are not for crying. They are for buying. I added, of course, some Bitcoins this weekend to my portfolio, around 64, 65K. It was not the cheapest, but I did add to my portfolio because before I know it, and you know it, we will be above 70K again, and that's 5K profit each Bitcoin. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. 
And the trading tip for today is a very simple one. Buy the dip. It's an expression for a reason. It's not there without any reason. It's there because you should be buying the dip. <laughs> the dip. Every time. When we near 70K, 72K, everyone is asking me, should I buy now or should I wait? And every time I answer, buy each and every dip or just dollar cost average at all those levels. Then we dip this weekend and still people are asking me, should I buy that dip? That's a 10K cheaper discount Bitcoin at that moment. You were asking me at 72K, we are at 62K, the wick even went there. You could have bought if you put the buy orders there like I told everyone to do, put your buy orders around the 63K level I told you in a video that red area, 63, we can even hit that. If you would have put some buy orders there, didn't cost you anything. And if you would have done it, then you would have bought that dip automatically without need, the need of thinking, without needing to remove your entire body from the bar or the club or the restaurant you were, because then bam, you automatically would have bought on Bybit. And yes, definitely buy on Bybit. Use the link down below. Even if you sign up again with your new Palau ID and everything, also the link to the Palau ID is down below. For all the Dutch people, you use the Palau so you can still trade like full hardcore on Bybit. Sign up using my link. At the moment, special bonus up to 30,000 US dollar deposit bonus, but you can also join a competition where you can win up to 4 million US dollar. But you need to use this link down below. So the training tip for the day, sign up to buy a bit down below or any of those other exchanges that I have the links down below, trustable, safe exchanges, and start to buy each and every dip. Answering a question of one of the followers, the follower was asking me, Didi, what if we don't have a house, we don't have overvalue, we don't have savings, what if I'm a student? How should I treat Bitcoin? How should I accumulate Bitcoin with the little money that I have? As a student, it is very important that you realize that you can't make the step we made as a family going all in. But you can still treat Bitcoin as your core capital. And the question was, is 0.5 Bitcoin in the future enough? for me to become financially independent. I think you need to wait a little bit longer for that, like a far future, because 0.5 Bitcoin towards the far future will be more worth than 1 million US dollar. I think 0.5 Bitcoin could even go to 5 million US dollar, but we are talking about three to four bull markets extra, so that will mean eight to 12 years extra. I do believe Bitcoin can reach 10 million US dollar per Bitcoin, which would mean 0.5 Bitcoin would be $5 million. And I think at that moment, yes, of course, we had some inflation. Life became a little bit more expensive, but I think 5 million would still cover um, your life. But my biggest step that I can give you is everything that you earned, everything, all the money you have left each and every month, put everything into Bitcoin. Don't keep it on your bank accounts. And I know your parents will tell you, oh, but you need to trust the banks, they are more trustable. Yes, in the 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, that was the time that the bank was trustable. We can see the different picture. We can see that there's less and less bank buildings. And we can see that there's less and less bank employees. We can see that there's less and less use cases for the banks because we can do it in a different way. And a different way is the digital way. And a digital way, the king there is Bitcoin. Believe in Bitcoin. Start to convert all your savings, everything you have, into Bitcoin because that's deflationary store of value. The better gold, the digital gold of the 21st century. And that is how you slow you slowly will grow your capital. And of course, keep watching these videos because I will tell you at the top or near the top, hey, now let's catch out to USDT. Let's wait for 12 months now, the bear market, to buy back shit little more Bitcoins. And that is how you multiply your amount of Bitcoins in a very safe way. If you start to buy meme coins, NFTs and all, do kinds of strange trades, um, yes, you will lose a lot of you will lose a lot of your capital. So if you're a beginning student that has some Bitcoins, then please do not rush it. Don't over leverage your trades. Don't invest in these meme coins that will go times thousands because there's only a few that will do it. You need to be very lucky to pick them out. I have called a few in this channel. So if you would have, so I've called a few of these coins in this channel. It went like times 20 or 30 or 40, but thousand, I, even I didn't pick one, this bull market. So for me, it's very simple. Play it safe. Keep stacking sets as much as possible. Treat that as your savings account. Sometimes when you need it, yeah, you will sell a little bit and you know use it. There is even here, I think, a beer coin cafe in, in the Torah Vyachla I'm going to visit soon to show you. But 
That is my solution. Patient, it will take two, three bill bull markets, so it's 10 to 12 years or 8 to 12 years. At that moment, Bitcoin could be 10 million per Bitcoin, so 0.5 Bitcoin would be 5 million. That's my calculation. The news for today, guys, the sun is becoming brighter and brighter. So I don't know if you can see the screen. Maybe I should turn around to this side over here. Maybe then the screen is better. So you can see also that part of Fotogra Vieja. But the news for today is very important news. Because you always need to follow those big whales. You know, the, the whales that hold 10,000 BTC or more. And do you know what the whales are doing at the moment? They are accumulating Bitcoin. And do you know why they are accumulating Bitcoin? Because they did read the news that China is going to start spot ETF on Bitcoin as well. China. Yes, that China that banned Bitcoin a couple of years ago, that was very negative towards Bitcoin a couple of years ago. Through Hong Kong, they will now start a spot ETF. The same thing that BlackRock, for example, or ARK Investment started in the United States. That is now what China is going to start. The biggest investment company of China is going to start the spot ETF in China. This will give access to all those Chinese, maybe even Asian community that also want to hatch a part of their capital into that digital gold, that store of value of the 21st century, Bitcoin. I don't need to tell you how big China is. I don't need to tell you how big the economy in China is. It's one of the biggest economies of the world. I think it's in the top three. And that economy and all those people, part of that economy, will now get access to that same spot ETF that the United States people already had, like because of BlackRock spot ETF. This is a lot of liquidity coming into the market. This is a lot of possibilities for those people that already are in a volatile currency, the Chinese yen or any other Asian currency, to now store their capital in a real hardcore store of value, the digital gold of the 21st century. And because it was announced, that is the reason why, of course, all these wills start to accumulate. Because the wills focus on the right news. They are not distracted by, again, a luring war between the United States and Iraq or Iran or whatever country it is. They don't look at it because war is also economics. Wars are creating to print more money. So even that should be a positive sign. Hey, new war? Hey, there will be money printed. Oh, that will flow into the rich people and they will store it again as a value, a store of value in Bitcoin, for example. And that in combination with that bullish news of China starting the spot EDF, like a trillion dollars industry over there probably, that will want to buy Bitcoin as well. They have seen now in the United States that those people that bought at 40K with the spot ETF are almost doubling their capital. And that within two, three months, the Chinese see this. They also want to be able to make those profits because they want to be the biggest economy of the world. They want their Chinese yen to be more stable and more worth than, for example, the dollar. So they need to compete with all those rich investors in the United States that are now buying Bitcoin. That is also what now the billionaires, trillionaires, uh, gazillionaires in China will do. They will start to copy that. They want to have Bitcoin. They want to double their capital. It's very simple. If you look at the bigger picture, as you zoom out, you can see this. It's always about the money. Everywhere in the world, they want to be the biggest and the richest, the biggest growing economy, the richest people of the world. And that's the thing that you can see now. It's not you and me anymore, or the people walking here down the stairs on the boulevard that are going to talk about Bitcoin and want to accumulate Bitcoin to buy a little bit of Bitcoin here and there. <laughs> it's now the big whales all over the world. They want to store their capital somewhere safe that holds value or even increases in value very rapidly now after the halving. So I think it's perfectly timed towards the halving that that news of China is coming out and then bam, they will say, you see, we did it again. So for me, accumulating at this price range, 60 to 70K, whatever price it is, 69K or 62K, I will be adding to my portfolio and you should be adding as well because this is huge news. Turning my face again just to show you how beautiful the sunrise is. Maybe I can switch the screen to this side like that. Wow. Look how beautiful, guys. This is what I wake up to every morning, or at least I'm awake already, but this is what I make my videos up to every morning now. 
and want to try to upload them every morning very early so that you have them a little bit more early during your coffee. I have a new plan. I will roll out this plan this week, but give me some time because it was a little bit busy with moving around. So the last part of the video, of course, is the inspirational part. And that inspirational part today, of course, has to do with the sunrise. That's why I'm doing it here with the sunrise. <laughs> the sunrise, guys. The sunrise. That beautiful moment that you can see that sun coming up, like from the horizon. That is the moment that a new day starts. That is the moment that a new day full with new opportunity starts. That is the moment that your day starts to shine bright. If it doesn't feel like that moment, if that sunrise feels like awful to you, every day again, like, ah, oh, the sun is coming up, you're not living the life that you should be living. If that sunrise is making you sick and tired in the morning, that is not, then you're not living the life that you want to live. You should be looking forward to every day to see that sun coming up, that sun rising from the horizon, and be looking forward to living to the fullest that day. Because that is the moment that the light appears from the horizon. That is the moment you can start to do all kinds of cool stuff. If it is sporting or recording a YouTube video, if it is your cool, kick-ass cool job that you really like, that should be the moment to wake up, to be excited, to start that new day. That new day that could lead to a complete new life, full of opportunities. Every and each day has the potential to change your life forever. And the start of the day is that sunrise. And from that moment, it is a new day with new opportunities, a new day that could change your life forever, a new day to do the thing that you love doing. If it doesn't feel like that, then please look to yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself in the mirror, am I really living the life that I want to live? Or am I waking up almost depressed every day that I need to do all those things that I don't want to do? If that is true, then you should be thinking about changing your life. It's simple as that. This should be one of the most beautiful parts of the day. Waking up to the sunrise to be able to maybe change your life into the life that you would love to live. You all know the quote of Bob Marley, live the life that you love, love the life that you're living. You should be doing exactly that. Because then every and each sunrise will for you be the most happy moment of the day because you are able to start, wake up and do the thing that you love. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the tips? What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the life quote and that amazing, amazing sunrise over there, guys? I love it. I just love this moment. This day is again going to be an amazing amazing day with opportunities for me as well. I'm going to meet random people, probably have a chat with them and probably that will lead to something new that I didn't know that I was going to do in the future. And that is the beautiful part of living this lifestyle. Flexibility is the new stability. I am able to do what I want every day because I listened to my heart. I went all into Bitcoin. All of you could still do the same. Of course, all of you will say, you bought way cheaper, but in 10 years' time, I will be able to tell you the same. Ah, you were so lucky, you bought at 70k or below 70k. And maybe then Bitcoin is a few million. So, we can all do the same. You just need to be patient, guys. Tomorrow, there's also a podcast going live for all the Dutch people on Lot Genoten. Lot Genoten, I recorded that one when I was in the Netherlands. It's going to go live, uh, I think, tomorrow. I saw a few of the screenshots. Eh, pretty nice. Let's see um, if you like it as well. So, thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day. and see you tomorrow again. I'm going to charge myself by looking into the sun. Bam!